For the creamy dill pork tenderloin, you're gonna need your pork tenderloin, green beans, some couscous, sour cream, chili flakes, uh, your chicken stock base, some Dijon mustard, dill, some olive oil, salt and pepper, and two tablespoons of butter. My green beans have been washed and dried, and I just wanna trim these ends off. So an easy way to trim the ends is you see, I've grabbed them into like a bundle, and I just kind of push them all the way up to my knife, and then you're just gonna cut those ends off, okay? And then you can turn this around, and then you're gonna do the same thing and push all the edges up to your knife. You can even kind of like pick it up like so and go like this so that they all come together. And then you can see you can easily cut all the ends off at once. So I'm gonna do this with the rest of my green beans. For your dill, again, you don't wanna ever use the stems. So you see they have these long fronds um, and you're just gonna pick these off like so. And then just discard, you know, these big, the big stems. I got a little bit of a stem there. I actually really, really like dill. Uh, you're just gonna give this a rough chop. Obviously dill is used in making dill pickles, but there's something about fresh dill that I think it's an underrated herb. I actually really enjoy fresh dill. So just give it a rough chop like so. It's kind of already chopped for you, if you will, with all those little tiny, tiny, tiny baby leaves. And that's all we gotta do. I've taken out the pork and I put it onto this paper towel lined plate here. Um, and I've just pat it nice and dry so that we could get that really good sear to it. Uh, so make sure you do that. And I've started to just kind of heat up my pan for a minute. And then I'm gonna go throw this away and wash my hands. Washed, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some salt and pepper to the pork. And then to my pan, I'm gonna add some olive oil. And the reason we preheat our pan is we wanna hear that nice, good sizzle. So I'm gonna put this seasoned side down. And that's what you're looking for. Pork tenderloin is uh, the end of the loin found within inside the ribs. Um, and it's like the filet mignon of pork, if you will. So we're gonna go ahead and just cook this you know, a couple minutes on every side until it gets that nice golden crust. And I am gonna season this other side before I flip it. My pork has been cooking a couple minutes and I have seasoned this other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a flip. And you can see that's exactly what we're looking for, that nice golden crust. I'm gonna let it crust on this side too. And I might also flip it like this and flip it again like this, just to make sure every side gets that nice crust. My pork is nice and seared on all sides, as you can see. We've got that nice golden crust. So I'm actually gonna take this and put it onto my baking sheet, and I'm gonna add my green beans in the next For step. My couscous, I have, um, we had two tablespoons of butter, and I'm just gonna use half of that. I'm gonna place it into my saucepan, and then I'm gonna add all of my couscous. And we're gonna cook this around for two to three minutes until the butter is completely melted and the couscous starts to get toasted. Couscous has been cooking for about three minutes. As you can see, even the butter is kind of starting to slightly change color. It has a more like amber hue to it. So to this, we're gonna add three quarter cups of water. We're gonna add one of our chicken stock concentrate packets. You did get two, you only need the one. And then we're gonna stir in some salt. Give that a good stir. And then we're gonna let this whole thing come to a boil. The couscous has come to a boil. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and turn the heat all the way down to low and let this cook for about six to eight minutes and then keep it covered until I'm ready to serve. My green beans on the pan uh, with the pork. And I have preheated the oven to 425. I'm gonna drizzle my green beans with some olive oil and we're gonna um, put some salt and pepper. I'm 
And then some of our crushed red chili flakes, you can add as much or as little of this as you like. I'm not gonna go too crazy today. And then I'm just gonna give these a little toss so that all the oil and the seasonings coat all the green beans. And then we're gonna put this in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. And that I cook the pork, I am gonna deglaze this with some water. So we're not gonna even rinse this out. We're gonna add a quarter cup of water. And then we're gonna add our other packet of chicken stock. And I went ahead and waited until my pork was done to start making the sauce and I pulled it out of the oven because we're gonna use some of those juices in the sauce and you wouldn't wanna start this first step and then wait, you know, 12 minutes or so until the pork comes out. So I have pulled my pork and green beans out and I'll be using that in just a minute. So I'm just gonna give this a good stir and as I'm, you know, whisking this, I'm trying to get up all those scrape bits all those, you know, you can see them. All of that is flavor. So it'll be like some porky flavor and some salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna let this cook. I have it like on a medium heat right now. And I'm just gonna let this simmer uh, for a minute or two. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in, um, oops. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add in my sour cream. <laughs> There's two packets of sour cream. And we're gonna add in our Dijon mustard. So the whole content of this mustard and pork works very well together. And then I'm gonna take half of my dill and stir that into my sauce and use the other half for garnish. So I'm just gonna give this a good whisk. I'm actually gonna turn the heat off now I'm just gonna get this nice and mixed together. And the sauce should thicken some as it cools. And then I'm gonna add some of those reserved pork juices that I was talking about. So I have my pan here and I'm just gonna carefully grab my foil and you can see that those juices were just right there. I'm gonna stir that in. All right, and then I'm gonna fully remove this from the heat and add in my other tablespoon of butter. And remember we remove it completely from the heat when we add butter, because what we're trying to do is not get the, the butter and the fat solids to separate. And so you just get this really nice, luscious, creamy sauce. So at this point, the couscous is done, my green beans and pork are done. My pork has been resting because you do not ever want to slice into meat right away. Um, and now it's just time to plate. 